The objective of this lesson is to find the probability of simple events, such as in the questions on this page. So to start with, let's have a think about what probability is and what it's used for. So probability is used all around us. So one obvious example is gambling. If you were to gamble on a roulette wheel, it's all about the probability of landing on red, landing on black, landing on different numbers, and so on. If you play a board game, there's a lot of probability involved. You roll the dice, you're looking at the probability of getting different numbers. In Monopoly in particular, different properties have different probabilities of being landed on. So some properties are better to invest in than others. Probability is used with the weather. So on this picture here, we've got the percentage chance of it raining during any particular hour. When you use predictive type on your phone, your phone is thinking about the probability that the word you are typing is a particular word. And that's where the options that it comes up with come from. Insurance as well use probability. Car insurance, for example, they have a think about the probability of a person of a certain age, certain gender, certain car type having particular accidents and they charge according to that. So probability is all around us. So let's have a look at how we can calculate basic probability. So in this example I've got 10 ties on a rack in my wardrobe. As you can see from the picture, 5 are plain ties, 3 are striped and 2 are spotty. I want to know what is the probability that if I just reach blindly into the wardrobe, pick out a tie, that I pick out a striped tie. So let's look at the ties we've got. I'm going to use this notation here, the P and the brackets, to stand for probability of, in this example, picking a striped tie. So in my wardrobe there are three striped ties. So there are three ways of getting a striped tie. I could pick the red one, the blue one, or the brown one. Now I need to look at how many ties there are all together. Well, there are 10 ties in total in my wardrobe. So there are 10 total choices that could happen. So my probability is three ways of getting a striped tie over 10 total ways of getting a tie. So I say my probability is 3 tenths. I could convert this into 30% or 0.3 if I wanted to. We're going to stick with fractions for this though. Sticking with the tie example, let's have a look at what is the probability of me picking out a plain tie. So we're going to think of it in the same way again. There are five ways of getting a plain tie. I could get the red, green, blue, pink or purple tie. There are still 10 ties in the wardrobe, so my probability is 5 over 10, which can be simplified to a half. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. The answers will appear shortly. Let's look at a formal definition for how to calculate probability. So a definition of probability is a fraction where the numerator on top is the number of ways the outcome can happen. So for example, we were looking at the ties. On the top we had the number of ways we could get a spotty tie, the number of ways we could get a plain tie, etc. The denominator on the bottom is the total number of possible outcomes. So in our previous examples, this was how many ties there were in total. Now this fraction method will work for anything where each of the outcomes has the same probability of happening. So in our previous example, each of the 10 ties had the same chance of being picked. So we had a 10 on the bottom. Now let's look at using this fraction in another example, this time to do with a fair six-sided die. Suppose I want to know the probability of rolling a two. Well, there's one way on a dice that I can score two. 
So we're going to have one on top, but there are six different things that could happen for numbers one to six. So my probability is one sixth. What about the probability that I roll an odd number? Well, there are three odd numbers on a die, one, three, and five. There are still six possible outcomes in total, so my probability is three sixths, which I can simplify to a half if I want. What about the probability that I score a number bigger than two? Well, there are four ways to do this. I could roll a three, a four, a five, or a six. So four on top of the fraction, and again, there are six possible outcomes, so my answer is four sixths which again can be simplified if you like to two thirds. Let's continue to use this fraction now, this time with a pack of cards. So you've got a shuffled pack of cards. There are 52 cards in a full pack. That's gonna be important. What is the probability that I pick a heart card out of this pack? Well, there are 13 cards in the pack that have got hearts on them. So 1 to 10, and then the Jack, Queen and the King. So I'm going to put a 13 on top. There are 52 cards in total in the pack, so my probability is 13 over 52, which simplifies to a quarter. What about the probability that I pick out the Ace of Spades? Well, there's only one Ace of Spades in the entire pack. There are 52 cards to choose from. So my probability is 1 over 52. And lastly, what is the probability that I pick out a black king? Well, there are two black kings in the pack, the king of clubs and the king of spades. So my probability is 2 over 52, which can be simplified to 1 over 26. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. The answers will appear at the end.